Universal Values Based on the book The Value of Values by Swami Dayananda Saraswati What is a value? Value indicates the regard for a thing, situation, or attitude, which for some reason is esteemed or prized by the value holder. The appropriate values which prepare the mind for Vedanta are certain universal ethical attitudes. Swami Dayananda Saraswati Janma Murtyu Jara Vyati Dukkha Dosha Anudarshanam Reflection on the limitations of birth, death, old age, sickness and pain. This long word Janma Murtyu Jara Vyati Dukkha Dosha Anudarshanam is a Sanskrit compound noun that stands for a certain rigorously objective attitude toward life. Anu, the penultimate word of the compound, means repetitively or again and again. Anu is prefixed to darshanam, a beautiful word that means seeing. What is the Anu darshanam? The repeated seeing that Lord Krishna is talking about. It is seeing the limitations in life itself, from birth to death. Life begins with birth, Janma. Along with Janma comes death, Murtyu, the inseparable mirror twin of birth. There is no birth that does not bring death along with it. Everything that begins, ends. What is born has to die. The old man, death, always comes along with birth. While you are busy doing things, he is there patiently waiting. All right, let him be busy, he says, but when he thinks you have played enough, he comes. Janma and Murtyu are but the opposite sides of a single coin. In between Janma and Murtyu, there are other limitations, doshas, to see. These are old age, jara, disease, vyadhi, and so on. You may still be very young, or perhaps strong and vigorous in your middle years, but one thing you can count upon. If Mirtiu sufficiently spares you, Jara will creep in. The longer you elude Mirtiu, the more certainly a time will come when your hearing will grow dull, your vision will grow dim, your step will be unsteady. You may be uncomfortable while sitting. 
You may be uncomfortable while lying down. You will have problems. Hearing problem. Eating problem. Digesting problem. Thinking problem. Remembering problem. Sitting, standing, walking problem. What is this? It is old age, jara, which is lurking around the corner. You may say, I am young and healthy. There is a lot of life to enjoy before old age and death draw close to me. Young you may be, but youth is no escape from the limitations of life. To others, disease, vyadhi, and pain, dukha, will introduce themselves to you in infancy, perhaps even before birth. Disease is something that goes with you all the time. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it does not, but it is always there, a shadow in your life. Similarly, Dukkha is a lifelong companion. Dukkha means all forms of pain, physical or mental, large or small, from the bite of a mosquito to grief over loss of a loved one. Pain, like disease, cannot be avoided. Careful as you may be, pain will catch you. Pain or troubles coming from within are Adhyatmika. From the outside, Adhibhautika. And from a heavenly source, Adhidaivika. Adhyatmika Dukkha, internal pain, comprises the aches and pains and troubles of my individualized person. Adhibhautika Dukkha, external pain, is made up of the problems in the world around me, the smoke in the air, the blast of my neighbor's radio, the furnace that fails on a cold day, and so on. Adhidaivika Dukkha is the painful result of an event over which there is no control whatsoever. A tsunami, an earthquake, or an erupting volcano. Thus, we see the limitations, dosha, in life. With birth, certain limitations come, such as death, old age, disease and pain of all kinds. You cannot escape them. Therefore, bear in mind the nature of life. It is uncertain, painful and swiftly moving towards old age and death. Keep your mind on your purpose in life. Don't fritter it away. Thus, the value Janma Murtyu Jara Vyadhi Dukkha Dosha Anudarshanam that Lord Krishna teaches Arjuna is an important value. It is not negative but simply factual. 
Its purpose is to direct your attention to the need to see the life objectively, just as it is, so that you will be able to make use of the time that is available in your hands right now. Available time is precious time. Make use of it consciously. Consciously use your time for your activities and pursuits. If you make use of time consciously, you are a master, Swami, of time.